Hello everyone, and uh, a lot of people have been asking me to do an impressions video about uh, Tsardom's Total War, uh, which just released its beta campaign uh, a couple weeks ago, I think. And uh, yeah, a mod that looks really great. I actually had not been following its development. Um, and uh, yeah, let's uh, check it out. Um, I have done a little bit of testing, but uh, not too much. So let's take a look at the main campaign. So you can see uh, this is the campaign map of uh, Tardom's Total War. And uh, you can see that it, it really focuses in on the Balkans area. And it includes Italy, part of North Africa, and uh, part of Asia Minor, and the Crimea. And uh, it's uh, really in-depth. In so uh, this is an area of the map that really was not covered very well in uh, Vanilla Medieval 2. And even other, even mods like, I don't know, Stainless Steel um, don't do it justice. Uh, Chivalry 2 does a decent job, probably better than any other major mod, I think, for Medieval 2. But um, in any case... Uh, this mod really goes in depth and um, so there are plenty of mods here not just Tsardoms but also uh, the Kingdom of Hungary as well the biggest one that's like looming over the middle of the map right here there you can play as the Kingdom of Croatia uh, you can play as the Banat of Bosnia there's the Republic of Ragusa which is Probably the smallest one. It's right over here somewhere. Um, there's also the Serbian Sardom, which uh, has quite a few settlements in uh, this mod. There's the Sardom of Bulgaria as well. Uh, there's uh, the Principality of Wallachia, which is another nice one. Um, I'm interested in playing as them. Uh, there's also the Principality of Moldova. Hmm. Um, there's the Roman Empire, which is in a major civil war right at the start. So you have uh, the Cantacuzenos Rebellion that's controlling pretty much most of the Empire's territory. So these territories that are striped are actually not under your control. You just have one settlement in Asia Minor. Uh, Constantinople and then a couple others so uh, yeah you're in big trouble uh, there's also the Duchy of Athens um, the Knights of St. John the Knights Hospitaller um, you have a couple of castles in Asia Minor as them there's the Ottomans uh, Emirate of Aydin uh, the Karamanids in uh, southern Asia Minor uh, there's the Golden Horde, which is uh, in northern Crimea. Of course, the Mongol successor state. There's the Republic of Venice. That uh, The Republic of Venice actually has a very interesting empire here. So you have Venice. Um, you have a couple cities there. You have a fortress in uh, southern Achaia right here. Uh, you have Euboea uh, near Athens. And you have uh, Crete, as well as a couple of islands, the Dodecanese. So, uh, yeah, very cool. You have the Duchy of Milan, everyone's favorite faction. Uh, the Republic of Genoa. So Genoa actually has a very interesting empire, too. So Genoa has a castle next to Constantinople, a castle uh, next to Asia Minor, a castle in northern Asia Minor near Sinope, and a castle in the Crimea, Kaffa. So, yeah, very interesting uh, faction here, Republic of Genoa. There's also the Republic of Florence, um, Kingdom of Sicily, probably one of the best positioned factions here in the game, or at least one of the easier factions in terms of its uh, starting position. There's the Kingdom of Trinacra, so there was the Kingdom of the, the Two Sicilies, so there were two Kingdom of Sicilies at one point, and this is the other one, which is actually on Sicily. 
And there's uh, the Duchy of Austria and the Duchy of Bavaria. So actually, uh, this is not just about Tsardoms, even though the Tsardoms are right smack dab in the middle of the map, so Bulgaria and Serbia. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is a very interesting map, so let's get in there. Let's uh, take a look at it. Um, I'll, I'll go with... Uh, I'll go with Florence. Yeah, I'll go with Florence. Um, this is just going to be a quick test here. I, it's not going to be a full Let's Play. And why is that? Because uh, this mod is in beta. This campaign is beta. So I don't want to um, do a whole playthrough of a beta campaign because uh, it's not done. It's not done. And I have a lot of uh, other playthroughs to work on in any case. But uh, yeah, um, first of all, I will toggle the Fog of War off because I want to show you a couple things. So uh, first, you get a whole bunch of um, notifications at the beginning of the campaign. So welcome to Tsardom's Total War. And then you get an introduction to your faction. So I got an introduction to Florence here. Uh, you get noble houses. So... Um, Tsardoms has a noble house system, and uh, I'll show you exactly what that means. Uh, so you get uh, bonuses from the different noble houses. It's kind of similar to uh, how some of the factions have uh, noble houses in uh, Roma Serectum too, if anyone remembers that, um, because that was a pretty good system for some of the factions. Uh, in any case, um, there's also the regional titles ancillary system so um there's like M holy roman emperor latin emperor of constantinople but then you can also be the the prince of i don't know adrianople things like that uh there's the guelphs and ghibellines these were the um the kind of papal civil war factions in the holy roman empire so there were different factions that supported uh the pope and the antipope anti-pope and everything um and there's a uh, this system a hardcore gameplay uh, so um uh, yeah this system makes it difficult to change your capital so you have to pay four thousand gold uh to do that uh and it also costs a lot of money to have your uh, forces in enemy territory and it also costs a lot of money to maintain sieges. Uh, so um, I'll just turn it on. Why not? But in any case, uh, there's some cool things I want to show you uh, before we get into a battle. So um, let's take a look here. Let's zoom out a little bit. Um, take a look at the city. Now, what do you notice about Florence here is that it's actually Florence. So look, look. It has the uh, Duomo of Florence, the Cathedral of Florence, right there. And that's just awesome. And it has the Palazzo della Signoria. And um, does, the, does the Duomo show up here? No, it doesn't seem like it. But uh, the other thing is that there are government buildings here in uh, Tsardom's Total War. So, uh, for example, I have Florentine Core Region for uh, Florence and Arezzo as well it has Florentine Core Region. Uh, but uh, in any case, I want to toggle the Fog of War because going off of the cool little Florence thing here, look at that. That's very cool. I don't know if Pisa has, has uh, something like that for like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I don't think it does unfortunately. But yeah, look at that. That looks like a unique city model to me. And let's look at Milan. Look, it's got a mini Duomo in there. The Duomo of Milan. Isn't that awesome? Like the 10 out of 10 for this mod. Look at that. It's got a mini Duomo. I can't wait to see that in uh, in battle. Um, there's this cool city in the mountains. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so you have the Duchy of Milan, and look at that Milan city model. I really like it. It's probably my favorite one. 
If I do a Let's Play in Tardums, I think I'm going to be Milan, just because of that. Look at that. Or maybe I'll conquer Milan so that I can see what it looks like. Um, there are a bunch of other cities that have unique models. So, uh, for example... Um, actually, I'm not sure if there's any of those... If there are any of those in the north. Um, it's not clear. But if you look at Italy, look at Venice. That's a lovely city model right there. I love it. Very cool. Um, there's also Rome, of course. Take a look at Rome. Uh-huh. There's also Naples. Naples looks cool. Um, and there is also Palermo that looks very cool. I like how Palermo looks too. Looks kind of like Milan, but Milan is a little cooler looking. Um, let's take a look at uh, some of the cities here in Greece. So actually, oh, so you can see this is controlled by the Cantacuzeno uh, Rebellion. This too, this too, this too. So the Romans only have control of... Um, Yeah, right, Destos, Constantinople. Oh, let's take a look at Constantinople. Look at that. Look at that city. Looking very cool. Look at the Hagia Sophia there. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And you can see Genoa has a castle in Northern Asia Minor. And also in um, so the Southern Crimea. And you have a couple of forts, Genoese forts. I like the way the forts look in this mod as well. Look at that. Very cool. Um, Kaffa right there. Are there any other unique city models? I could have sworn there was one. But I can't uh, remember. Oh, KOTOR! Anyone wants to see me play Knights of the Old Republic? Um, Ragusa is right there. Wow, they were able to squeeze in two settlements for Ragusa. Even though it's like a dot on the map, you can't even see it. And it's not like they're that close. I really like the detail of this map. So it's very cool. So you can see uh, Bosnia right there. Yaitza. Doesn't that mean egg? Someone tell me. Um, but uh, yeah, you have Budapest. Oh, Buda look, is looking very cool right there. Take a look at that. But not Pe Pesht looks like normal medieval too. And then Buddha. Yeah, that's Buddha, all right. Uh, but yeah, Hungary looking very cool, very looking very big. That's for sure. Um, Serbia. Ras looks cool, actually. Actually, all the Serbian settlements look pretty cool. Um, Bulgaria. Bulgaria is looking cool as well, indeed. Of course, this is Tsardom's total war. So yeah, very cool. The Bulgarian forts look cool too. Look at that. Uh, Tarnovgrad. But um, yeah, Constantinople looking very cool. And of course, there's also Asia Minor. So you have uh, Smyrna. Controlled by the uh, Hospitallers. And you're at war with the Aydin, Aydinids right at the beginning. So, um, yeah, you're in big trouble. It looks like a tough time playing as uh, Hospitallers. So the Hospitallers also control Kos. So I'm sure all the Persians are laughing about that. Um, yeah, and then there's Kingdom of Cyprus in the corner. Doesn't get a major faction. Oh, well. Um, and yeah, Candia, the land of candy, controlled by Venice. And Venice, of course, has a tiny castle in southern Greece. Very cool map. I really like it. Um, it would be cool. It, a lot of cool factions, like look here. Uh, the Duchy of uh, Athens. You can play as the Duchy of Athens. Um... 
you can play as uh, Ragusa. You can play as uh, Serbia is in a few mods. Bulgaria is in a few mods, like uh, Chivalry 2. But uh, Ragusa is not in any other mod. Uh, Bosnia, I don't believe, is in any other mod. Uh, Croatia, I don't think, is in any other mod at all, either. Um, but yeah, very cool Croatian capital right there. Um, yeah, in any case, very cool. Actual Duchy of Milan rather than just an ahistorical Milan that controls like half of northern Italy. So that's very nice. Republic of Florence in a Total War game. Florence doesn't really get that much representation in Total War. So it's nice to see playable Florence. Um, yeah. Let's play for a bit. I actually haven't pl I haven't uh, played as Florence here. So, oh, in terms of the uh, noble house system, so House of Medici. So, uh, yeah, of course, the Medici were the leaders of Florence at this time. Uh, except for um, uh, this guy, the, who's the leader of Florence at this point, and it's, uh, he's from the Podesta uh, family. Or no, he is the Podesta. Sorry. The Podesta is his office. My mistake. But yeah, his uh, noble family doesn't show up here. Interesting. Oh, this guy's ha from the house of Pazzi. So in Italian, if you call someone pazzo, it means they're nuts. It means a nuts, actually. Pazzi means nuts. So perhaps his family grew nuts. I don't know. But let's, uh, I don't know. Let's go after Pisa. Florence in this period did try to take Pisa a couple of times. So let's um, take a look at how these units look. Uh, the unit cards are interesting. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of how they did these. Uh, they look okay. They look appropriate. They don't look out of place or a little jarring like the EB2 ones look. Uh, so let's uh, let's get our army together here. And let's uh, go after Pisa. So, um... Okay, we're lowering the tax rate and things are good. So, uh, as you can see, uh, aside from the uh, government buildings here, which I uh, like quite a bit, there's also quite, there's quite a few buildings here. I haven't had time, of course, to um, look over all of these buildings. Jewish suburb. What is this uh, picture of? It looks just like a Modern picture. Interesting. Um, but uh, yeah, there are a lot of buildings in this mod. So you're going to be a, you're going to be doing a lot of building, including brothels. Um, yeah, a lot of building in this mod. Uh, I was I was playing as Milan before, and uh, there was a lot of building to do. That's for sure. And there are a lot of uh, unique units you can recruit. Even as uh, an Italian faction, which, I don't know, usually Italian factions don't have uh, too much to recruit. At least in a lot of uh, the mods I've played. So it's uh, good to see uh, that there, there is a wide variety of units in uh, Italy in this mod. So uh, let's besiege Pisa. Uh, it would be it would be really cool to see Pisa have a unique city model because Pisa of course has some would look very cool as well just like Florence I love the color of Florence as well uh, on the map here mercenary camp that lets me recruit Hungarian mercenary swordsmen that's nice that's cool gunsmith oh they, that gives me rocket launchers. 
Okay, I'm gonna make a gunsmith. Make a gunsmith in Arezzo as well. Yes, I can. Um, but yeah, there's also the Republic of Siena. Oh, Siena. Speaking of uh, cities that need a unique city model, Siena would look so cool. If anyone's been to Siena, very cool looking city. It's too bad there's no train in Italy that goes there. So you have to find other means like a bus or a tour or something. In any case, uh, much easier to go to Pisa. But that's enough about Italian travel. Uh, let's just uh, end the turn. And uh, of course, I'm not trying to win this. I just want to uh, showcase a battle in the mod. And I know I can see it in the comments right now that uh, people are going to say I should play as a Tsardom. This is Tsardom's Total War. I like playing as smaller factions. But I hope my uh, tour of everything has been uh, cool so far. But let's see if uh, Pisa sallies out here. I also like how much trade is on the map here. Look at all that trade on the road. Take Luca? No, I'm going to take Pisa. A plague from the far east. Uh, so that explains uh, why my population growth was like negative 25%, I guess. Um, yeah, in any case, I haven't had time to actually read the documentation on the mod or read the mod, anything from the mod forums. So uh, this is all just my first impressions. So uh, I hope you can uh, forgive me for that. Uh, but my economy is actually looking pretty good considering I'm just constructing gunsmiths and stuff. But uh, yeah, let's keep the Siege of Pisa going. Um, I'm liking the performance of the mod so far. So uh, considering it seems like a pretty heavy mod in terms of the scripting and uh, the graphics, the graphics look very cool. I really like how the map looks. Um, personally, I've always preferred how the map looks in the original Rome Total War compared to Medieval 2. Um, Medieval 2 just had this kind of grainy look to it. Um, I don't know, I didn't like the base Medieval 2 map. Even Europa Barbarorum 2. Um, I don't quite... I prefer the way the map looks in uh, Europa Barbarorum 1. And I think part of that has to do with just uh, me preferring uh, what the map looks like in uh, Rome, the original Rome. But this map here in Tsardom's looks great. I really like it. Really nice colors. They all, the colors pop of the map. The green is a very nice green. Uh, the cities, like look at Florence here, the colors pop uh, with the red roofs and everything and the Duomo, the kind of reddish dome of the Florence Cathedral. Very cool. So let's uh, keep it going here. Yeah, so our economy is starting to take a hit. So we've got to take Pisa. I guess, um, yeah, as Florence, perhaps the goal at the beginning is to consolidate uh, Tuscany. So take Pisa, which is, of course, um, in Tuscany. Uh, trade with Papal States, eh, all right. Um, take Luca, take Siena. You're surrounded by rebel, rebel factions. Uh, there are other factions, as you saw, like the Roman Empire. You're surrounded by uh, uh, major factions. So, um, Duchy of Athens excommunicated. All right. Um, yeah, Pisa. Six turns for Pisa. Okie dokie. Let's keep it going. I was hoping they would sally out before this because I want to uh, showcase the units, the battle map. I also like the unique port there. You can see on the left, uh, to the left of Pisa. Uh, 
but yeah, I don't know. I, I'm really liking these unique city models. Like it makes me it makes me want to see a mod that has every city be slightly unique and with colors that pop. So my population is going down quite a bit. And I think that's um, because of the uh, plague, perhaps. Uh, perhaps I'm saying everything wrong, but these are just my impressions. Like, don't get mad at me. I'll do more videos about this because I'm very intrigued now. I was, um, as I said, I, w I wasn't following Tardums. I actually didn't know it was still in development because I remember seeing it first announced back in the day, back in 2007. But uh, I never followed its development that closely. But it looks very cool. I especially like the map here. And the units also look promising. Uh, one thing would be... Um... No, I, I actually can't say anything I dislike at the moment. Uh, it seems like there are a lot of mechanics here. It seems very Europa Barbarorum-like in its focus on the period and uh, how, how they make everything look and the mechanics, and the government building, and things like that. So I'm, I'm really liking this. Alliance announced between Croatia and Austria. All right. I don't know if anyone noticed, but in the, in the last Europa Barbarorum episode, um, it seemed like the performance was dipping in one of the siege battles there. I think it was the battle at uh, Sinope, where um, I don't know what was going on. It was stuttering uh, more than usual. I know EB2 is quite heavy, and it seems heavier than this mod as well. But uh, we'll actually see the performance here, because I actually did some testing of uh, stainless steel after uh, that EB2 episode. And because I wanted to make some content about stainless steel, but I've never really played it that much. I never got into it back in the day. And uh, I noticed that stainless steel performed so much better than uh, EB2 in, in battle and on the campaign map as well. So yeah, EB2 is a heavy mod, that's for sure. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not playing this uh, with the best setup. I just have my budget gaming laptop, my budget Dell gaming um, Inspiron 5577 with a GTX 1050 and an Intel 7th Gen Core i5HQ processor. So quad core, it's not like it's a super duper system or anything. So that's probably why I can't play these uh, with the best performance. Death stocks the land. Oh, did someone die? Yeah, oh, this plague is horrible, horrible. My population at the beginning of this was 150,000. Arezzo's not doing so well either. And that's why my economy is going into shambles. But uh, actually, it seems like Pisa's not going to... Sally out? But actually, uh, as, as you saw, it looks like the Roman Empire, or the Byzantines, they have a very tough start. So uh, even though it's only 13, uh, what, 45 AD at the start, uh, yeah, you, pff, you've got nothing. You've got Constantinople and... Uh, couple of ragtag troops and a whole empire in rebellion. Yeah, so uh, my population is just... It's going to go down to zero here. I wonder if Pisa is just going to surrender. They had a huge army.
Okay, so they're gonna sally. So we'll get a look at uh, some of the units here, at least some Italian units. But uh, yeah, I really like the attention to detail. I really like the loading screens too. All of the loading screens look this nice. They, they don't look out of place or anything. Very cool. I guess if there was one thing I would change, it would be this logo here. I don't know. It seems a little out of place compared to the rest of the mod. I don't know. I like the, lo the little loading bar too. It's just uh, everything has been overhauled and it uh, it's just a nice refreshing mod and it uh, came out by surprise for me I was not I was not following so let's take a look at uh, some of these units here unfortunately it's uh, a storm of course the AI chooses a storm to fight in but uh, yeah you can see the Italian bodyguard here looking very cool Oh, I love this shield. Look at that. Very cool. I like the hat too. So those are your Italian knights there. More Italian bodyguard. Let's see what else do I have here. Crossbowman with the Pavis shields. Of course, the Pavis uh, spearman. Looking very cool. Um, Italian Spear Militia. I like the shields. Very cool. Very Florence. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's do this. Oh, this is actually using minimal UI. Uh, I haven't used minimal UI in a long time. But it should be okay. So let's get all our troops into position here. So missile units. Put you guys in the front. So this mod is definitely focused on uh, realism and immersion. So uh, as you can see... Um, Everything is pretty much geared towards uh, making you feel immersed. And I think that's also why uh, uh, they went with the minimal UI here. Oh, and this is the Italian heavy cavalry, the Spezzate, Lance Spezzate cavalry. Uh, yeah, very cool. I like the horses. They got the braids there. Yeah, very nice. Very nice indeed. So I guess I'll uh, put some of these, these cavalry to flank on the left. Run into position. And I'll put the rest of my bodyguard cavalry on the right for flanking purposes. Okay, so they're uh, Pisa's... Uh, Spetsate Cavalry has charged me. Oh, they also have Signori Noble Cavalry. Well, they did. Until he got chopped. So actually, there's also... Um, Milan has them too, the Signori Noble Cavalry. I like the way they look. They have the kind of muted colors, but... I don't know, they're cool. And they've got axes. So what else is Pisa sending at me? Dismounted Armigeri or Armigeri. Interesting. Uh, oh, two-handed spears? Or, oh, they're like axes that are on pikes? Interesting. Oh, they've also got Berovieri Raider Infantry. Very cool. So uh, let's get our... Oh, and they've removed the green arrows that Medieval 2 loves. The enemy general 
has been defeated. Yeah, so the enemy are routing indeed. Let's take a look at Pisa. Oh, very cool. I like the color of the bricks of this wall, v looking very nice. It almost looks kind of surreal in the fog here. But yeah, I'm liking the way Pisa looks here. Um, I don't think it's a unique Pisa model or anything, but um, yeah, the way they've redone these cities looks very cool. Yeah, so let's get our bodyguards in there. Oh, they've also got peas and archers. Interesting with their tiny shields. Yeah, actually, most medie a lot of medieval mods I've played have peas and archers as a unit. So not surprising to see them. But yeah, really liking the look of this battle. See this battle underneath uh, the nice brick wall here. Very cool. I guess let's get our uh, spear militia in here as well. Yeah, our knights are tearing through them. I know this wasn't the most dramatic battle, but um, I, I basically just wanted to showcase. Uh, so actually, um, what's interesting is uh, Perhaps this is a unique Italian city model, or like a the city model, the battle map model you'll see for Italian cities. But actually, the, as you saw on the campaign map, the um, uh, there were very interesting uh, campaign map models for um, uh, the Balkan factions as well like uh, Bulgaria and uh, Serbia. They had very interesting looking uh, forts and things. So I'm definitely going to do some more uh, coverage of Tsardoms. These are just my early impressions. But I think with uh, the boiling oil pouring over our knights here, uh, that this is a good place to uh, leave off uh, this impressions video. So I'm really liking the look of this mod. I really like the unique buildings. Uh, it's very atmospheric indeed. Um, the units look nice. Uh, I, I'm liking the look of the unit rosters. Uh, the Italian roster looks very cool. The Italian cities and battle map models look very cool. I'm very excited. And, uh, okay, let's capture Pisa, and then we'll end the, end the episode. But again, yeah, loading screens, everything looks very nice in this mod. I'm really pleasantly surprised by this. It's, it's now definitely the Medieval 2 mod that I'm looking forward to it coming out of beta the most. Just walk in, bang a few heads, let him have it. Eh, just walk in. Enough population is being lost anyway. Giacco Carnesecchi. Um, he's a confident defender and he's a siege expert. So uh, I like that and he's only 16. Pretty young to be an expert. Oh, and this is... Um, this is the uh, Duomo of Pisa, the Cathedral of the Ascension of St. Mary. 
Cattedrale Metropolitana Primaziale di Santa Maria Assunta, Duomo di Pisa. Yeah, it's a very cool building. Um, so the thing about it is that the Tower of Pisa, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, is actually the bell tower of the Cathedral of the Ascension of St. Mary. So this uh, landmark actually covers the Leaning Tower as well. Even though, you know, maybe they should uh, add it separately anyway. And there's also the um, the, ba the Battisteria, the Baptistry. That's another very nice building. Uh, but yeah, oh, the, the Cathedral of Pisa is very cool too. It has a golden roof. A very nice looking cathedral. I believe it's a little older than the Florence one. And um, yeah, very nice. I want to see a unique uh, city model for Pisa. But uh, yeah, very good. Really liking the way this mod looks. Uh, I really like the atmosphere. I really like uh, the buildings. Oh, University of Pisa. I'm glad Pisa has a university building. Uh, because yeah, Pisa, the University of Pisa is quite old. Uh, but um, yeah, indeed. Another look at the campaign map model of Florence. Really cool. So that's going to be it for this impressions video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will be following the development of Tsardoms more closely now. Um, and yeah, perhaps I'll do some playthroughs or some live streams uh, once I get back uh, to streaming. I, ha I haven't been feeling great. That's why I haven't been uh, live streaming the past month. But uh, once I'm feeling better, I will definitely live stream some Tsardoms. Uh, maybe even while it's in beta because it's looking so cool. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.